Hello and welcome back to Movie Monday. Today we watched Lilo and Stitch. Yay! And I can confirm that I was correct and that I had not watched this before. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, do you want to go first then? Um, I have one complaint. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's too short. <laughs> There's a okay. <laughs> So the thing is, is that as I watched this, I was like, I remember really liking Lilo and Stitch. And then I realized that I had also watched the TV show. Right. So I, I hadn't seen that, but I knew that I know that's a thing. And I know from what I hear, most people say it's pretty good. Yeah, um, yeah. it's really good. So there is I, one thing I don't like about the TV show, and that's Angel. Yes. Because Angel can just fuck off. But um, OK, well, anyway. But yeah, so because I see this as like. I, I definitely, like, to me, especially from, from what I think I know about the show, because the whole thing is that, like, there's other experiments out there, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so I, that's the base of the show, and I think that makes it good sense for how this works, and I feel like you would really work a lot more with the characters in that kind of setting and expand on them. I feel like, again, everything done in this movie is good. It's just, it's not... It did feel too short. It was, <laughs> yeah, it's like it didn't give quite enough time for everything to breathe. Um... But that's it. That's really my only complaint. Everything everything that is actually in the movie is done well. Um, mm. I, I knew that this is one of those things where it's like, you know, like, because I, I, even though I hadn't seen the movie, I'd seen like advertisements for it, like on TV or whatever, right? When I was a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember the advertisements, of course, played it up as this, like, it's, it's goofy, here's Stitch, he's being wacky, you know, that was all the advertisements, right? But I knew that, like, this is an emotional and has, and has some a lot of serious moments in it too. Like I know that was the thing. Mm -hmm. Even knowing that, there were still some moments where I was like, "Damn, okay." Um, like the the line that and a lot of the the lines of dialogue are in particular are just like, "Wow, that's like kind of fucked up." To be honest, like yeah. um, the one that like got me the most was like, I, "I'm gonna butcher it," but wasn't it like, "I remember the ones that left" or something? Yeah. And I'm just like, man, that's really dark. <laughs> and so it's like that, you oh, know. Oh, it was like, I remember everyone, even the ones that are who leave. Have, yeah. I remember leave. the yeah. people who leave. Yeah. yeah. Lilo says that. And it's just like, you have this very small child. She's like five or six. And she's already so, like, she's been through life so much already and you're just like what mm -hmm. the fuck <laughs> yeah no the, like, the thing is too is that Lilo acts like, like a, a child yeah like an actual yeah. child yeah. and that's a good thing because she is an actual child it's not like it's she's like like she throws tantrums and yeah. all that stuff that's normal especially when like she's also dealing like their family it's brought up many times that their family is broken because of a terrible accident that took their mm -hmm. parents away and stuff mm -hmm. and now nani who presumably i assume she's like 18 or 19 probably had to drop out of college or didn't yeah. go to college i think um i don't remember i don't remember if this is accurate but she's somewhere between like 17 and 19 and mm -hmm. i like the portrayal of nani because she's also very flawed yeah, yeah. And it sucks because you see her try, you see them trying really hard, and then mm -hmm. what? And it's not perfect and everything. And then when at the end, like during one of the climax points, like Bubbles is like, I know you're trying very hard, but you have to seriously think about if, like, this is best for your sister. Yeah, which mm -hmm. is heartbreaking because you're just like, it's further tearing their family. Like, mm -hmm. Lilo is all Nani has, and Nani is all Lilo has of their family. And then the house also. <laughs> I know we're dropping a bunch of spoilers, it's but just I. A, well, yeah, I mean, this is a bold movie. If if people haven't seen it yet, that that's honestly more on them. <laughs> You mean Val and Be <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, well, like you said, there, there, there's that aspect of it. And, and again, also, with how, like, Lilo's behaving, like, with, like, the other kids, like, early on, right? Yeah. Um, 
yeah so there's definitely a lot of i guess that's the thing like with the whole like fight they get into early on like it's like legitimately uncomfortable <laughs> in terms of like yeah, how yeah. they're like yelling at each other so yeah like, like i said i think it, i think that's done really well um i just wish there was kind of a bit more time not really dedicated to that, but I guess, I don't know, it, to me, it kind of comes, it, it seems a fast in terms of, like, you know, it's like Stitch is causing all these problems and nobody likes him or whatever, and then, like, five minutes later, everyone loves him now, and it's like... I think mm. they could have spent less time with the introduction, and then they could have spent more time on Earth. That's mm. true. Like, Rewatching this, I was like, wow, the introduction stuff with the aliens is actually pretty long, and it doesn't have to be. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, um, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh. well. <laughs> well, I was going to say uh, that there was actually a deleted scene because I don't know, another theme of the movie that I think you guys also picked up on is that it also touches on. They're Hawaiians. They're native Hawaiians. Right. Mm -hmm. And it actually does touch on like a numerous things about like that trauma, that generational trauma ah. and whatnot. Wherein like Nani mm -hmm. even mentions, I don't want to be fake, fake, like, the fake luau. Fake mm -hmm. luau. You see like all the tourists and everything on the beaches and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And there is this deleted scene actually where like um Lilo well there were two deleted scenes that actually had to do with the tours wherein Lilo and St one of them was Lilo and Stitch are walking on the street and this tourist is like comes by in their car and they're like hey you speak English and Lilo shakes her head and she's like, oh, well, where's the beach? And she just points in a random direction. And the guy's like, thanks. <laughs> and, <he keeps going. laughs> okay. and then there was another one where they, um, they're walking on the beach and like the tourists are like, oh my God, it's a Hawaiian girl and everything. And then she's like, there's sharks in the water and she causes like mayhem and then where like all the tourists run away. I forget the second one. I feel like I am not remembering completely correctly, but there were two, those two extra scenes that I feel like they probably could have added in here, especially since they were already voiced and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, because like even though because one of the issues, like, well, you know, if the move, if there's you know, you don't want the movie to be too long, right? And I'm like, but mm. this isn't a long movie. Exactly. <laughs> it's definitely less than two hours. Let me let me check right now. Uh, I think it was like an hour and a half. Do, 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 Wikipedia. It's also interesting because this is one of like the this was in Disney's like down period after the Renaissance and everything too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the final animated movies. Too. Right. Which this, is kind of sad. Yeah. This movie's less than an hour and a half. It's eighty five minutes. Oh, oh wow! Never yeah. mind. So they definitely could they definitely could have added more and had things kind of slow down a bit. Um, yeah, like because again, there's a couple things where I feel like it's just not really addressed or resolved. Again, like the main plot is, but there is stuff like, for example, the whole thing with like Lilo and the other kids. Like they just mm -hmm. kind of don't exist anymore after that like beginning part. But then at the very end, like in that kind of montage at the end, they're like you know they're like dancing with them again. Like oh, I guess they're friends now. Okay, no, it, so it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, and again, does it really matter to the overall narrative? Not really, but it is something where like they could have had like another scene in there to you know go into that a little bit more, or you know, again, I'm nitpicking, right? I'm not saying that oh the movie's bad because of this because it's not, um, but it is something that I definitely noticed, um, and it, it it is again it is a criticism that I have despite. What it does do is, is is very good overall. So, yeah, like the animations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the animations are really nice. I remember I always liked the uh, designs of all the aliens in yeah. this, uh, I guess, series mm. because they're they're very colorful, but they they aren't like I guess Star Warsy. They're more like I guess an animal like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like some of them even resemble dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I do like, I know we said this, I said this for something, but I like how the aliens, like, they're like different sizes. Yeah. Because that's kind of an issue with a lot of sci-fi stuff. It's like, here's all these alien species. They're all six feet tall. And it's like, uh. <laughs> they're all humanoid. <laughs> so at least, and I mean. You're like, clearly a couple of the people, like the, um, Gontu was like. Gigantic, ten yeah. feet tall. Yeah. And Stitch, meanwhile, is this mini tiny thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I also, I think it takes place in like the seven. Like the TV is what makes me think like eighties um, or something. That, mm -hmm. well, also they're talking about Elvis a lot, so. Yeah. Yeah. I was and like Agent Bubbles isn't that old looking for having worked for like the cia during roswell oh so. yeah. yeah so yeah maybe 70s 80s or something yeah mm -hmm. then yeah because the set pieces are really nice mm -hmm. everything lilo and i saw this funny thing where someone was like Hey, Disney finally did a sister movie with Frozen, and someone was like, "What about Lilo and Stitch?" <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I've it was too messy that. for them. The relationship wasn't pristine enough. There was too much yelling. But I think that's made it more accurate. Yeah. Like as someone with siblings, with it's kind of like with, with a sibling mm. that kind of is how it is yeah there is some kind of yelling and screaming involved at some point in your in your bond as a sibling i think i just also prefer the complexity of yeah. lilo's and nani's relationship because it's mm -hmm. it's a little bit more i lilo says this like near the beginning where she's like i like you more as a sister than a mother yeah and mm -hmm. i thought that was like lilo why are you so wise <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, not not to, again, not to criticize Nadi, that's just the scenario, so... Yeah. 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 She had to pretend to be motherly, because that would be how the child protection services would be, like... Yeah. Would let her keep Lilo, essentially. Mm-hmm. Which, it's really sad, also, thinking about the fact that if it weren't for Stitch, Lilo would have actually been taken away. Yeah. Yeah, like, which is really depressing. Mm -hmm. That just goes into a whole other ballpark of, like, no. foster care and stuff. Yeah. Hi. Oh, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just looking at the Wikipedia article for, like, at, like I was looking at like you know the show and like the other movies that go with it or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. There was an anime. What? Oh yeah, there's an <laughs> anime. There was an anime, but for whatever reason, it, Lilo's not in the anime. Yeah, it's the, this other girl. the anime series features a Japanese girl named Yuna Kamihara in place of Lilo and is set on a fictional island off the coast of Okinawa instead of Hawaii. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. That doesn't make any sense. And this this anime, it was like aired for a long time, 2008 to 2015. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. Hi. Interesting. Okay. Wow, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about <laughs> this. I, I found it so strange. I was like, why would they replace Lilo though? Yeah, that's odd. Sacrilegious. <laughs> I guess we'll go to ratings. I yeah. guess, yeah. Uh, I should I go? I don't know. Sure. Okay. Um, I am kind of torn between two numbers. Um, basically, again, it comes down to like, it's it's the balance, right? In terms of like, is mm -hmm. the stuff that is really done how, how really well done? How much does that elevate it compared to again my issue of it being too short and a bit rushed? Um, and again, part of the issue is like the whole thing about being kind of rushed. It's like okay, but like the show exists, so like if I want more of the characters, I got more of the characters, right? So it's like I can't really complain too much about it in that sense. Um, so. Mm. 
I'm probably gonna give it an eight. Oh, you are? Okay. Eight. Um, that was kind of what I was thinking of giving it. Okay. Interesting. I assumed you guys were gonna give it like way like a good nine at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean like the, the the show existing doesn't mean that the length is justified. Yeah. Because I, I know I felt the length being a little bit skewed this time when I watched, because the last time I watched was several, several years ago. Mm -hmm. And I think that could have easily been fixed by either just making it longer or cutting some of the beginning stuff and adding more to the middle. Mm -hmm. Um, I do really like the character. I, I actually found it really interesting that Bubbles was in this more than I remembered because I was like, I remember really liking Bubbles. <laughs> now I remember why, because he was actually he did actually play a role in it. <laughs> Yeah, like I, because that's the thing. Like I, I remember again from what I little I've seen. I'm like, oh yeah, that that guy looked familiar, or whatever. And then when you were like, oh, I like him, I, I was thinking like, he's in the movie more than like two minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, 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 so okay. apparently, yeah. So okay, um, okay, I'll, I'll I'll also give it an eight. Okay, uh, yeah. By reasoning, the length wasn't so much the issue for me. It's just, um, because I had actually watched it kind of recently. And me and my brother watched the sequel right afterward, so of which, and then after that, we kind of it, the sequel leads into the animated series and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, I guess yeah, I, there's I, I, no I, reason. There's no reason. I just okay. felt like I just felt like an eight was appropriate. That, that's fair enough. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to explain everything. And that's okay. I'm sorry mm -hmm. for what you have to cut off, Alan. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, well, uh, Mai, what are you replacing this with? Okay, so I had two in mind. I'll probably replace the other movie of mine that gets chosen whenever that is. Um, but, <laughs> so, there's a very odd story with this, um, but long story short, I was recommended this movie from a friend because he implied that perhaps his relative had something to do with oh, this, movie. this movie is. Oh, not okay. like the movie itself but the event it's based on so I'm going to put American Gangster as my next one okay <laughs> could really not inspired. have predicted that <laughs> So you went from intergalactic, um, getting a refuge, like an escaped convict, yeah, to American gangster, yeah. Um, for now, don't look anything up because <laughs> when I first heard him say the title of this movie, I was like, I have no idea why this has anything to do with this conversation we're having. But then okay. I looked up the very brief summary, and I was like. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I understand. Okay, yeah. I this is I've heard of it, um, but yeah, I don't know like anything about it. So mm -hmm. okay, well, uh, what are we getting next <laughs> week? Like, movie. <laughs> well, oh, 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 Shazam. Okay, yes, we are getting the movie that I feel like I put on the list like over a year ago. <laughs> oh well, year ago. this is so appropriate because we finished Miss Marvel too. Oh yeah, we did watch so oh, finished oh, yeah. last episode of Miss Marvel, which we're not going to give a full discussion on that. So I guess I don't know. It's good. Yeah. yeah okay. It's good. It's good. They 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 drop they drop something right at the end, which is interesting. Uh, and that's all we'll say about that, I guess. Um, yeah, there's Jersey representation. Yay. Yes, I get my representation. You get white boy representation. Yes. We and get see, it, yeah. Wait, uh, no, let me qualify that. You get smart white boy representation. <laughs> oh, you're giving me so much credit. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, okay. So we were watching Shazam. So I saw this in theaters. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, besides like the very base premise, you don't know anything about this movie. No. It, but, no. Okay. Except for the one thing you told me about oh, wait, I know. The, the kid that was sitting in the theater with you. Yes, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, so I'll just say this, tell this right now. So, 
anyone who'd watched like the trailers and even if you read the reviews of this movie at the time everyone is like you know oh it's a funny movie it's a good time it's you know haha all around right this movie has some legitimately fucked up things in it <laughs> like let me put this way this movie is pg-13 for a reason um, this is not like, you know, oh, they say, like, shit once or whatever. Like, no, 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 no. It's... Mm. So, it's the f literally the first scene of this movie, and, like, when we watch this next week, you will see, like, after what happens in the very first scene of this movie, like, next to me in the theater was, like, a, you know, a family with, like, young kids or whatever. And after the very first scene, the mom goes, like, get just, like, says out loud, like, oh, no. <laughs> it's like, it was, like, the <laughs> It was... <laughs> It yeah so yes, it, and I feel like you agreed with her. <laughs> yes, no, like legitimately, like all these people taking their kids to see this movie. I don't know what the f no don't. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit late now, <laughs> but like it was just one of those things. Like this is yeah, it's so weird because again, like I feel like I'm crazy, and that, like nobody ever said, like everyone like everyone was about how like oh yeah, it's it's a good movie because it's a lot of fun and hilarious stuff, and I'm like yeah. But <laughs> so, so I want to know if I'm the crazy one, and like maybe you, I don't know. So, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good. I, I say it's the best of the DC EU movies for sure. So, yeah. Is this including the Batman or no? No, I'm not including that. Well, the Batman is not part of the. Oh DC. yeah, that's yeah. true. Not part of the same storyline, which this technically oh, is. Wow. Yeah, but it, although it doesn't really matter. But, oh my god, I completely forgot that um, What's-His-Face was like, I quit being bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Affleck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready for a movie with no dark things in it whatsoever. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> <sighs> okay, bye. Bye. Bye.